In the future, people will talk to machines all the time as if they're real peers. Machines will understand complex commands and adjust based on feedback. Experts generally agree this is inevitable, but disagree on how technology will get there. While Figure AI plans to test humanoid robots at homes thanks to what it calls fast progress on its end-to-end -end neural network, physical intelligence is banking on a hierarchical approach. In AI and robotics, a hierarchical approach means breaking down tasks into different levels, each with a specific role. So instead of one big system doing everything at once, the process is divided into high-level decision-making and low-level execution. San Francisco-based physical intelligence emerged in 2024 and gained attention for its AI-driven robotics approach. Physical intelligence's valuation jumped to $2.4 billion after it secured $400 million in funding from the likes of Jeff Bezos, OpenAI, Lux Capital, and Thrive Capital. The startup's mission is to empower robots in all settings to autonomously navigate the real world and interact naturally with humans. Its Pi Zero model serves as the core engine that enables robots to understand and take action. The General Purpose Robot Foundation model interprets and executes a wide range of tasks based on vision and language inputs. Trained on diverse robot data, Pi Zero handles tasks like folding laundry, cleaning tables, and assembling boxes. The startup's new high robot AI system builds on the Pi Zero model with a two level hierarchical structure. Hi, robot. Can I have a sandwich with roast beef and cheese, please? Sure. I'll start with the bread and add roast beef and cheese next. Its high-level vision language model understands complex instructions and decides the next steps. Then the low action model carries out the physical actions needed. Robot, can you get me something for a basketball game? That sounds fun. I'll get you some chips and water. They say the approach helps robots to listen and think harder. They evaluated the system across three robotic platforms. Single arm, dual arm, and dual arm mobile robots used it for cleaning messy tables, making sandwiches, and grocery shopping. According to physical intelligence researchers, the High Robot Project has shown how artificial intelligence can break down tasks instead of relying on one giant model. They say it adapts better to feedback than GPT-40 and that robots perform better when they make decisions step by step instead of guessing all at once. Physical Intelligence plans to advance its high robot system to improve robots' adaptability and performance. Another Silicon Valley startup, Figure AI, says it's moving forward with plans to deploy its AI-powered humanoid robots into homes two years earlier than expected thanks to its end-to-end -end neural network. Figure, launched in 2023, initially planned to refine the capabilities of its humanoids in industrial settings before offering them to the consumer market. Those plans changed after Figure severed ties with partner OpenAI in favor of its in-house AI system called Helix. Now the company plans to start testing its next-generation robots in households starting this year. Okay, I'd like to try something new. Even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene and then work together to put them away. Does that sound good? The startup has shared demos of its figure two robots using Helix to use reasoning to put away groceries based on vague verbal instructions and to perform logistics tasks. Figure calls Helix an advanced vision language action model that integrates perception, language comprehension, and motor control in a unified system. According to Figure, the AI model helped deploy a fleet of Figure 2 robots at the startup's second unnamed customer to perform sorting and package handling tasks in just 30 days. The startup says the speed has accelerated dramatically since its first deployment at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, which took a year.
Figure aims to manufacture 100,000 robots within the next four years. With Helix, robots can pick up unfamiliar household objects and collaborate with each other without specific training. The Helix Systems cross-robot policy transfer means figure humanoids can share what they learn without needing individual calibration. Each robot can adjust its own sensor readings and joint movements in real time. Once a control policy is trained on one robot, it can be applied across multiple robots without extensive fine-tuning. This drastically reduces the time and effort required to deploy a fleet of robots. Helix runs entirely on embedded low-power GPUs within the robots. Figure announced its intention to push up its timeline for deploying humanoids in households a week after competitor 1X Technologies unveiled the gamma iteration of its Neo robot. When 1X introduced the beta version of its Neo humanoid robot in August 2024, the startup differentiated itself by focusing on domestic applications rather than industrial. Both Figure and 1X are seen as top competitors to Tesla, as it plans to manufacture 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots in 2025. Like Figure's robots, the Neo Gamma uses a general AI model to interpret language, perceive objects, and control actions. However, while Figure is pushing a fully unified AI model in Helix, 1X trains its robots through reinforcement learning and teleoperation. 1X's new robot features an overhauled Japanese-inspired design with so-called emotive earrings that provide real-time feedback for better communication. The company, which operates out of Norway and California, designed the Gamma iteration to appear approachable and blend seamlessly into a home's aesthetics. 1X plans to test its The Humanoids in Select Homes in 2025 and scale production of its mass production ready iteration in 2026. Figure founder Brett Adcock has some bold predictions about the opportunity the emerging humanoid robotics market presents. Uh, is there a world where 45 billion is going to be pennies when it comes to the amount of robots that can scale? As in figure is not going to worry about doing 45 billion a quarter in terms of robot revenue. This is going to be hundreds of billions, aka trillions of dollars of market cap around robots. It'll be like trillions of dollars of revenue. Yeah. Okay. With stakes this high, it's understandable that tensions are flaring as competition heats up. For more on figure and 1X's race to deploy humanoids at scale, check the related video.